Sadly, in today's age and time, people want everything quickly. We're living in a culture of instant gratification where people want results overnight. They want to do the minimum effort for the maximum results. And just the fact of the matter is, is that that's not how reality works. Life is a process and it takes time to receive the benefits of your labor and your work. And learning is no different. Learning is no break from the norm. When it comes to learning, it takes a lot of hard work to learn. But at the end of the day, if you can understand the difference between principles and techniques, um, you'll be better positioned to learn quicker, uh, retain more information, and apply the lessons that you learn to benefit you in your specific walk and, and journey within this world. Because let's just face it, man, you know, after people get out of college, people just get into the workforce and they get into this repetitive rat race where they really stopped learning. People just get trapped into doing the same algorithmic and monotonous activities day after day after day. And I remember uh, one of my mentors told me he's like the average person dies at the age of 25 because they stopped learning. And for me, I've always realized that I'm a natural lifelong learner. I've always been creative. People have always told me that curiosity kills the Craig, but it's this intellectual curiosity and passion for learning more that's allowed me to level up in my life quicker than the average person does. And one of my techniques and one of my strategies for, for being able to learn quicker, one of my strategies for being able to apply and, re and retain information is being able to delineate between the differences uh, between principles and techniques. Now I'm sure you're asking, what are principles and what are techniques? So let me illustrate the differences using a, a simple analogy. But before I get to the analogy, let's just look at the basic differences between principles and techniques. Principles are what you consider to be fundamental universal truths. This is information that is universally applicable to everybody on this earth. Those are principles. Well, techniques are basically individual strategies or types of information that can only be used and applied to certain people in certain ways. They're not universal, they're not fundamental, they're just more of tactics. So let me explain, because I'm sure you're probably confused. Like, what the hell is Craig saying? Well, the best way to illustrate this is through a simple analogy between the differences between nutrition and dieting. So nutrition would be an example of a principle because the, the definition of nutrition is this, based upon the quality and the quantity of the calories that you intake, you will either gain or lose weight. Now that is a proven fact that is universally applicable to everybody on earth. That's irrefutable. But if you look at diets, diets are basically tactics that affect the quality and the quantity of the calories that you intake. So for example, there's pescatarian diets, there's vegan diets, there's keto diets, there's high carbohydrate Atkins types diets. There's millions of different types of diets uh, available to people on earth. And the difference is, is that different diets affect different people in different ways, but nutrition affects everybody in the same way. So if you understand this at like a basic level, you can understand is like if you apply the principle of nutrition to you in your life, that is something that can never change. It's always going to be there. It's never going to lead you wrong. But if you focus on the individual and different types of diets, you may hit or miss. Because for me, as somebody who's lactose intolerant, who doesn't do that cow juice, I don't include any milk in my diet. So my diet is unique and specific to me. But the fundamental principles of me intaking, you know, a high amount of calories or poor and shitty calories is going to affect how I lose or gain weight, right? So shifting back to information and learning, 
is if you were to just focus on the principles of learning, the principles of information, the universal applicable forms of information that are never going to change, if you just focus on those, that's going to help to expedite your learning exponentially. Because when you focus on the techniques of learning or the techniques of information, they may or may not work for you because at the end of the day, we're all different. The, the techniques are going to be unique to you and your walk in life. Now, I'm trying to break this down to the most basic fundamental level, but sometimes it's difficult because we've been so led astray within this world because we've been told so much BS about life and reality and how things really work. And so there's just so much junk out there. But like your job as a learner, as a lifelong learner, is to filter through all the crap, filter through all the techniques, and focus on the fundamental principles about how this world works and how things operate. Like you just have to learn how to cut through the crap and distill down to the core essence of what you're trying to learn and just focus on that. Because once you apply the fundamentals and the principles or whatever you're trying to learn, the techniques will be revealed along the way. And those specific techniques are going to benefit you and you only in a manner that's suitable for you. Because basically what I'm trying to say is that like just because somebody else did something does not mean that that will work for you. Your whole job as a lifelong learner, as a lifelong student, is to study how and why things work. And once you figure out that, then you apply those universal fundamentals and then any of the ancillary tactics or techniques that go along the way, you can experiment with them to see if they work for you. That's basically what I'm trying to say, but like, I'm sure that it's, it's, it's something that's very different from what you've been told. And I really hope that this is something that you've never heard before because the people who are really running this world are never going to tell you to try to cut through the crap and just focus on the fundamentals because they have fairy tales for kids. What do you think they have for adults? It's this thing called the real world, but it's full of so much BS out there, out here. And like I said, as a coach, as somebody who's in this business world, there are so many deceivers and they're telling you and selling you on techniques that don't even work. Like, how can you build a business if you haven't built your foundation? How can you build a business if you don't understand the fundamentals, the principles of business? Now, there's different techniques to help you sell and grow your business, but that may or may not work for you depending on how you've built your business. You see what I'm saying? Like the one thing that will never lead you astray in this life is just understanding the fundamentals and the principles behind whatever you're trying to learn. And as you apply those, you will learn what techniques work for you. Because like I said, what works for me may not work for you completely because we show up differently in this world. But this is why when I teach people about anything, especially business, I'm focusing on those fundamentals because once you have that, you'll learn which techniques can work for you and help you to grow your business in your own specific way. I really hope this makes sense, but uh, let me know what you think. So in sum, whenever you're trying to learn something new, make sure you just distill down to the core fundamentals and principles behind whatever you're learning. And after you apply whatever those fundamental principles are, the techniques that will help you specifically will be revealed along the way. Basically, when you're studying the tree of information of life in this world, focus on the roots, focus on those principle, principles, focus on, that fun, on those foundations, and don't be distracted by all the leaves <laughs> because that stuff will confuse you. So my question for you today is, why is it more important to focus on the principles instead of the techniques when it comes to learning new information? I'm really curious to hear your thoughts because I know this type of information really hasn't been presented to the masses. So definitely drop your comments below and stay tuned for the next videos. 
Until next time.